Hey everybody, Billy here. Today I'm going to show you how to mine Quicksilver. I know you can go to the Anomaly and you can run the Quicksilver missions and every day you can get 450 Quicksilver. But I just found a system that has interstellar ice. What that is, is one of the objects of interest that you can find while pulsing through a star system. And once you shoot it, one of the drops you can get from it is Quicksilver. You can also get di dioxide, dihydrogen, condensed carbon, uranium, and nanites. And the nanites are pretty good, but the Quicksilver is the main one we're looking for here. So let me go over here and I'll show you the address. So you're going to need access to a portal and you're going to need pretty much all the glyphs. You're going to need 15 of the 16 glyphs. So if you have all that, come over here and we're going to go with Sunset, Sunset, Trivial Pursuit, Dragonfly, Sunset, Diplo, Crazy Face, Tree, Bird, Black Hole, Trivial Pursuit, Black Hole. Now once you have all that entered, you're just going to need to just run through the portal. I don't think you're going to need to turn off networking for this. I believe it's just going to be different for every person, so just come on through. Now, once you're on the other side, all you need to do is hop into your ship and fly up to the space station. And I will say I have tested this on both PC and on PlayStation 4, and the Stellar Ice would show up on both of them if you follow these directions. Once you're here, just hop out of your ship, go to options, and reload your autosave. Now this is the important part, immediately jump in your ship fly out of the space station and then once you get out here just point your ship in the direction of just kind of nothing and then start to pulse you're going to do this until it shows an object of interest and then you're going to drop out of pulse there it is and there's the interstellar ice and if you remember, like I said, this has about six different things it can give you. So you're not guaranteed to get the Quicksilver every time. So let's see what it's going to give me this time. Oh, I got the hydrogen that time. So what I'm going to do is just repeat that process. I'm going to fly back to the space station, hop out of my ship, reload my auto save, 
then come back out and start pulsing again and this is going to appear for me again i will shoot it and see what happens see what it'll give me that time and see what it's going to give me next time back in and do the same thing over and it doesn't matter which direction you fly I'm gonna go this way this time and let's see what we get there it is again And that time I got some uranium, so gonna reload again. This is number three. And condensed carbon.
And number four. Let's see what we get here. And we got nanites that time, 264. This is number four. And nanites again. It's Groundhog Day again. So, redo it one more time. Well, maybe one more time, hopefully. And number five, let's see what this does. And we finally got the Quicksilver. So this time it took me five times to be able to get to the Quicksilver and I can keep reloading and it'll keep randomly picking one of those that I'm gonna get. I'll say this is the second time I've recorded this video. The last time the audio was horrible on it. And the first time I recorded it, the second time I went out and did this run. I got the Quicksilver. So it's all to chance. You can come here if you want, get some Quicksilver, get some Nanites and all that other stuff if you want. And also, let me show you real quick one other thing in this system. So if you like to have your entire fleet of frigates one color, the frigates in this system seem to all be black and white, or not black and white, red and white. You know, that other color. You can see this explorer, let's get up to it. can see it's uh, mostly white with a little bit of red on it and I am going to purchase this one 
Let's see, there's some more around here somewhere. There's another explorer. Oh, there's a fighter. That one has a little bit more red on it. Nope, that is a support specialist. It's got a little bit more red on it though. S-Class, wow. About five tons. That's pretty nice. Okay, yeah, you can see it's got some red and white. It's maybe about 50 or 60% white with some red there. Um, I am not going to get this one, even though it is an S-Class. Just because of the fuel requirements on it is five tons. Normally these are six tons, even though it is pretty nice. Well, decline. All right, well, that's where I'm gonna leave you here. So if you like this video, if it's at all helpful, or if you come here and pick up some of this Quicksilver, please give me a like below and have a great day.